Ever wondered how we determine the significance of different treatments applied to a series? The answer lies in the Wilcoxon-Wilcox test. This test is like a key that unlocks the mystery of multiple treatments applied to a series. It's a statistical tool that uses ranks to measure the impact of these treatments. Imagine you have N subjects and they're all subjected to K treatments. The Wilcox and Wilcox test steps in to determine the significance of the difference in these treatments. It's a bit like ANOVA but with an added quirk. While ANOVA tests the equality of the means of the various treatments, the Wilcox and Wilcox test goes a step further. It not only checks for equality but also identifies treatments with unequal means, leading to the rejection of the null hypothesis. The beauty of this test is its versatility. Though primarily used for qualitative data or ranks, it can also be applied to quantitative data that can be converted into ranks. The Wilcox and Wilcox test assumes that the subject's responses to various treatments are independent of each other. Now you might be wondering, how does this test work? It all starts with a null hypothesis. So what exactly is this null hypothesis in the context of the Wilcox and Wilcox test? Simply put, the null hypothesis posits that the means of all treatments are equal. In statistical terms, we say that M1 equals M2 equals M3 and so on, where each M stands for the different means. But of course, in the real world, things aren't always equal. That's where the alternative hypothesis comes into play. The alternative hypothesis suggests that the means of all treatments are not equal. This is our statistical way of saying, hey, something's different here. Remember, the Wilcoxon-Wilcox test is like a detective. It wants to find out if there's a significant difference in the outcomes of various treatments. And if it finds such a difference, it wants to know who's responsible. In other words, the test helps us identify the treatments that have unequal means, thereby causing the null hypothesis to be rejected. It's like a spotlight that shines on the unequal treatments, helping us understand better how different treatments affect the outcomes. But what if we're dealing with quantitative data? Can we still use the Wilcoxon-Wilcox test? The answer is yes. Although this test is primarily designed for qualitative data, it can also handle quantitative data. We can convert these numerical values into ranks and then apply the test. This flexibility is one of the things that makes the Wilcox and Wilcox test such a valuable tool in the world of statistics. So there you have it. The Wilcox and Wilcox test, with its null and alternative hypotheses, is a powerful way to test the significance of the difference between multiple treatments. Whether you're dealing with qualitative or quantitative data, this test can give you the answers you're looking for. Though primarily suitable for qualitative data, the Wilcoxon-Wilcox test can also be applied to quantitative data that can be converted into ranks. This makes it a versatile tool in statistics. In essence, the Wilcoxon-Wilcox test is a valuable statistical tool. Its key strength lies in testing the significance of different treatments applied to a series based on the assumption that responses to these treatments are independent. The test can be effectively applied to both qualitative and quantitative data, with the latter being convertible into ranks for the purpose of the test. The next time you come across a situation where you need to test the significance of different treatments, remember the Wilcoxon-Wilcox test. It's a